earn over $10,000 a month with their books. Now, let's just say, for example, somebody's like, well, listen, I don't really need a book, but I want to know, can you coach me in a different area? No. Remember what I said at the beginning, the challenge that we have is that we're addicted to our own labor. And I used to do this. I call it a la carte in your business. I was Miss a la carte queen. If you want to meet it, can you just help me with some public speaking? Yeah, I got you. Can you help me with putting together my event? Yeah, I got you. And guess what was happening to your girl? I was charging all these little low things because I didn't have an expertise, shall we say. I was just kind of generalist and I was doing all these things. I w it was so bad when people would get on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. I'd be like, now what program are you enrolled into? <laughs> I had so many doggone dang on programs and so wow. and I was overworked. Yes, I was making six figures, but I was overworked, stressed out and underpaid. It wasn't until I said, I ain't doing all this other stuff. I'm only focusing on helping authors or future authors write the right book with my book camp. And if they already have the right book, right, then then I teach them about promoting, profiting and performance. If somebody is not in that realm, and they don't need those services, then guess what I've also done? I've created strategic partnerships with other coaches that help on public speaking, other coaches that help on client attraction, other coaches or, uh, or people that help with business credit, right? I have different people where it's like, well, listen, I'm not for you, but what I can do is connect you to someone else. Now we've got partnerships and guess what? Taria only has to focus on books and I'm still able to have more free time and I can become the best. Like literally, I'm about to have my foot on the necks of anybody who try to act like they didn't want to partner. Oh, never mind. Let me stop being Lord Jesus. He working on me. Okay, but no. <laughs> she about to go in. Because <laughs> uh -uh, you don't believe it. I was trying to find other book publishers because I, I have I have ads that go out and I get hundreds of leads. And so sometimes people are like, well, I want to do a children's book. I don't do children's books. I'm very niched in the audience that I serve. Gotcha. Or I want to do a memoir. I don't do memoirs. And so I was like, listen, I want to partner with other people. I want to find people that do journals. I want to find people to do this, right? And so while I had some people that were like, yeah, okay, I want to do it. A lot of people, believe it or not, that are kind of doing it in that space, they weren't interested. So guess what your girl did? I created the Elite Publishers University where don't <clears> worry about it. I'm going to teach people how to do those specific genres. And so I don't got to send them to you. We can keep it all within the family. And so I'm, I'm building a group called the Elite Publishers Group. Um, so that's another thing that we're doing too. We about, we about to it, look, 